Hi friends! Today you will learn about the circle of control. The circle of control is a tool that can help you manage stressful situations, anxiety, or moments of overwhelm. The goal of this activity is to help you identify the things in your life that you can and cannot control. You can then focus your time, energy, and attention on the things you can control while letting go of the things you cannot control. A simple way to start is by drawing a circle on a piece of paper. On the outside of the circle, write down some of the things in your life that you cannot control. And in the middle of the circle, write down some of the things in your life that you can control. Some examples of things you cannot control might include how someone treats you, how other people act, whether people like you or not, how other people feel, your past actions, world problems, or the weather. Some examples of things you can control might include how you treat others, how much you take care of yourself, your actions, your attitude, your words, the friends you choose to have, or how hard you work. You can also use the circle of control if you are going through a situation that is causing you stress or worry. Start by writing all the things about the situation you cannot control on the outside of the circle. Then list all the things about the situation you can control in the center of the circle. If you can't control the situation, then it is not helpful to dwell or worry, or to try to fix a situation that can't be fixed. Instead, you can free yourself from your worry and stress by doing one of three things. Number one, acceptance. When you practice accepting things you cannot control, then you can focus your energy on things you can control. Number two, letting go. Instead of dwelling on things outside of your control, it can be helpful to set aside or let go of these stressful thoughts. Imagine putting the things you cannot control inside a balloon and letting them float away. Number three, using coping skills. If you find it challenging to accept or let go of things outside of your control, then it can be helpful to use coping skills to manage your thoughts and emotions. Coping skills can help you control how you react or respond to the situation. If there are aspects of the situation that are within your control, then you can use problem-solving skills to come up with action steps to reduce your stress or move you in a positive direction. If you are having trouble with problem-solving, don't be afraid to ask for help. A caring adult such as a parent, teacher, therapist, or school counselor can give you guidance. In conclusion, remember that you cannot control the weather. You do not go out in stormy weather and scold the wind, the rain, and the clouds. Instead, you build a roof and windows on your home. In a similar way, instead of getting upset at the world and other people around you, you can develop your inner strength to defend against difficult situations in life. You do this by focusing your time and energy on the things you can control and learning to accept, let go of, and cope with the things you cannot control. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. For more social, emotional, and mental health resources for kids and teens, please visit www.mentalhealthcenterkids.com. Thanks for watching!